Okay, what is up guys? I'm uh, Judah, Ezra's brother. Uh, I'm here at Planet Fitness right now, and Ezzy is too. And I know you guys wanted to know how he got to be so jacked. So let's go find him and see if he'll maybe spill the beans and we can find out uh, how he did it. Uh, well, I guess you guys want to see how I uh, got so jacked. My false tip is always wear gold bags. You can sweat off all that extra fat and look shredded for the summertime. On to the next station. Come on. One of my, one of my favorite exercises. Well, how do we do this on this? Adjust the weight to the desired rep range. Get down on one knee as you can see. The padding is nice and soft. I'm going to adjust this to, to the L for lats. Like I said, adjust that weight. This is two tips in one. False tip, always use correct technique and use the machines how they're intended. Second tip, only walk out biceps. All right, on to the next one. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Seriously, though, I'm just doing upper body today. I start off with the abs usually every single day. I've got a few tips that I kind of stick to that I'll kind of be showing throughout the workout. But for now, let's start off with the abs. And uh, I'm gonna start off with like a bicycle. So let's see ya. All right, so for every exercise that I do, I typically do three sets. And uh, the main thing is to make sure I don't take too little rest. So with that being said, let's hit the last two bicycles and then move on to the next ab. The main thing about getting visible abs is not gonna be here on the gym. It's actually gonna be in the kitchen. Make sure your diet is good. Eat as many beans as you possibly can. Those abs will start to show in no time. I've got double leg raises with this uh, dumbbell. I like the dumbbell because I can add weight and adjust my rep range to where I hit failure at the ideal amount. So let's hit it. So I just mentioned ideal rep range. For me, I'm trying to focus on hypertrophy, which means I want to hit uh, my rep range at like eight to 12 reps for every set. All right, I'm back to the floor for the final ab exercise. I'm gonna do in flat leg crunches, work those lower abs, and uh, I've got a weight so I can adjust my rep range, like I said, keep my feet off the ground to make it a little more difficult. Final set of abs is done, which means it's time to move on to the big muscles. I do a two day split, which means I do upper body on one day. Next day I do lower body, today's upper body. Okay, so before I start, I typically like to warm up a little bit. I don't want to jump into the heavy weight right away. I can cause injury, so I'm gonna grab a few light weights, do some shoulder stuff, do some triceps and chest, get my body moving, and then I'll jump into some ass. So that's a pretty quick warm up for me, but it's gonna kind of vary on each pulse. And you know, I'm pretty active throughout the day, throwing a lot of discs, my body's kind of already warmed up. Especially if you have like a pre existing uh, injury, you're gonna wanna warm, warm up a little bit more. But I'm ready to go. there at the end. Couldn't really do any more reps which means I got really close to failure which is really important because when you get close to failure or to failure that's when you build the most muscle and uh, I chose weight that gets me close to failure at like 8 to 12 reps like I said and I say close to failure not all the way to failure because if you go all the way to failure 
potentially injure yourself. So I, I say like one or two reps shy of that actual fail point, you can't do any more reps, is ideal. So with that being said, let's finish out shoulder press and move on to the next exercise. I move on to chest and uh, I'm doing a single arm cable fly. I really like this exercise because depending on where you have it situated on the pole, it hits the pec in a little bit different of an angle. So it's really good to mix that up today. Obviously I have it on the floor. Two more sets. Obviously hit both sides. Let's get it. And I could walk for days Searching for your praise But is it even there to find? I don't know if you guys noticed that on a lot of those reps as he was kind of holding his other hand on that pec that he was hitting. That's him kind of trying to get an even better mind-muscle connection. Being as conscious as you can, getting as, as good of a contraction in the muscle that you're targeting. Like this one we said, we're targeting the pecs. He's got his hand on the arm. He's really just trying to feel that pec moving the weight and doing all the work for him. If you can get a better mind-muscle connection, it's gonna boost your gains and it's really important. Trying to, you know, make it easy for the camera, but I gotta do the actual way that hits home. Well, I slowly lose my mind. Well, I slowly lose my mind. Well, I slowly lose my mind. Obviously, I didn't warm up back because it's kind of hard with dumbbells. I just made some light weight just to get the bus moving before I go full power. piece of advice that I can give in this video is to have good technique. You gotta have good technique. It'll help prevent injury and give you the most gains. So make sure you're not doing too much weight. Don't lift with your ego. Have correct technique. For this lift especially, um, you can see I had my feet nice and firmly planted, nice and square. Got my legs a little bit bent just so that I don't put any strain on my knees or anything like that. Got my back nice and straight in a, in a nice athletic position. And then I'm pulling the weight back with my back and not like my arms too much. I'm not swinging back and forth. I don't want to put pressure on my lower back. I'm just going to have to track with the back muscles. So I just want to say real quick, uh, when I started walking out, I was trying to put on size. I wasn't really disc golfing a whole lot at the time. I've kind of just stuck with the same routine. So this isn't like super like disc golf centric, you know, if you get a bunch of big muscles, it's not necessarily going to help you with disc golf. Um, but this has worked for me as far as putting on size, I think. So that's what you're interested in, maybe it works. Just wanted to put that out there. As you can see guys, I'm going to triceps now. Um, it actually makes up two thirds of the upper arm. If you're trying to get bigger arms, don't just focus on biceps, make sure you hit those triceps as well. How can I get out? I'm out of time to make you mine. Baby, show me how. some hammer curls for your last major muscle group of the upper body which is biceps of course and uh, I like to hit every muscle group twice 
um, every day that I walk out, which means I'm going back to show those the different exercise and uh, assault the rotation over again. That is going to do it for this workout. I skipped the last bicep because if I'm being honest, I skip biceps almost every day just because I feel like that's not a muscle I really need to grow. So I'm kind of more in maintenance mode in the upper body, so it's a little bit easier. If you guys want to see my leg workout, maybe my brother on there as well since he's got the legs. Um, if you can make that happen as well, let me know in the comments. So in review, I do a two-day split upper body, lower body. I do three sets of each exercise. I do two different exercises of each muscle group. I have good technique on every set, that's super important. I go close to failure at eight to 12 reps on every set. As you continue to walk out and get stronger, you'll find that with the same weight, you start to get out of that eight, eight to 12 rep range, you might start to hit 13, 14 reps. That's when you wanna add some weight to put that muscle strain back on that eight to 12 rep range to get the hypertrophy. That is progressive overload and that is the way to do it. You stick to those things, it should be golden. And uh, yeah guys, good luck out there. Getting shredded to face this workout though. I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching, keep my body limbo, and uh, yeah, call it a day. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, just got done with a good workout, got some stretching in. Time to take a shower and figure today out. I'll see you in the next video.